Here's a deceptively simple question. How come when we get older, we get sicker? Well, we're not so arrogant to believe we know all the reasons why this happens. There's probably a half dozen primordial mechanisms that work together collectively to create the thing we all call aging. But we think we know one mechanism, and it's this. This is you at conception. You're a single cell. Over the arc of your life, this cell, you, will divide perhaps 50 times. And at some point along that arc, every cell in your body will pull an emergency brake and stop dividing forever. Now, cells that pull this emergency brake are called senescent cells. And this is a super important emergency brake. You don't want to mess with it. In mice, if we genetically perturb this emergency brake, mice are born normally but wind up full of tumors before reaching reproductive age. So don't mess with the emergency brake. However, as we age, these so-called senescent cells accumulate in our bodies. So my son here, who's eight, has no detectable senescent cells, whereas my stepfather, who died at 87 from Alzheimer's, was full of these cells. Now, before our work, no one knew if these accumulated senescent cells were good for you, bad for you, or neither. And so what my group did at Unity, in collaboration with groups both at the Mayo Clinic and at the Buck Institute, is we created multiple strains of mice where we could clear these accumulated senescent cells whenever we wanted. And for the first time, we were in a position to ask, what happens? Well, this is what happens. These mice are siblings, born within seconds of each other from the same mom. And to give you a sense of their age, these mice are about 70 years old assuming you were a mouse. Now, which one do you want to be? The one on the left is blind, osteoporotic, and frail. The one on the right lives 35% longer, but more importantly, has a profoundly extended period of something we call health span, the period of time this animal lives free of chronic diseases of aging. Well, we're making drugs that will do that in people. And we think that's pretty cool. Thank you.